today we will learn on chapter 2 scientific methods so in this chapter you will cover you will cover four subtopics which are discovery based science the hypothetical deductive method experimental analysis and also unit of measurement and conversion first what is sign sign in latin word is means to know okay it comes from the latin word meaning to say a mean to know so it is actually a way of thinking and a method of investigating the natural world in a system systematic manner so how is the systematic manner in sign systematic manner in sign meaning to say that when you have the ideas the ideas need to be tested after it tested you have that finding and then you can modify or reject your ideas based on the finding and the process need to be investigative okay M meaning to say your idea can be investigated dynamic and can be controversial and the important tools in science is the inquiry meaning to say we have the desire to search for the information and explanation and focusing on the specific questions that came out so when i say about systematic meaning to say organize and often quantify the knowledge and there are two types of um, scientific uh, methods or um, science systematic top, uh, thought processes the first one is the first one is inductive method which also known as natural or discovery based science next is deductive method which are uh, also known as the hypothesis based science so what is the difference between these two methods for natural or discovery based method is actually about you describe the nature okay you describe the nature through the observation and also analysis of the data and next the observation that being made can be verified and also you can measure um, the data that um, you collect okay and the conclusion for discovery based sign or natural sign is based on a type logic that called as inductive reasoning inductive reasoning is begins with um, specific things and then you conclude it to become um, more general um, conclusions okay and as i mentioned earlier it always begin with specific observation and then came out with a general conclusion okay however for hypothesis a uh, hypothesis based sign hypothesis based sign is that um, the thing that can lead to the prediction and it can be your prediction can be tested through also um, observation and also experimentation and the hypothesis okay um, or the prediction is a tentative answer educated case or trial explanation to a certain question that came out and for conclusion of the hypothesis hypothesis based sign is always um, comes with a very specific things okay from a general observation goes to a specific conclusion so for example induction method which is natural science or discovery based sign you came up first with um, the general observations okay which are general hypothesis and also observation which are the first one is that you said that the sparrow have wings meaning to say it can fly and sparrow is a bird okay and also eagle pigeon hawk and robin also have wings and can fly therefore they are birds so this one is very specific observation okay 
them, very specific observations and also hypothesis. And conclusion, you made a conclusion which are very general, uh, which are uh, which is all birds have wings and can fly. And is this conclusion valid or not? The conclusion is not valid because some of the birds have wings but they cannot fly such as a kiwi bird in New Zealand. Okay, another example of induction method is that uh, the hypothesis is that Mercury, observe your observation hypothesis, the Mercury is a planet that revolves around the sun, very specific. Earth is a planet that revolves around the sun, specific. Mars is a planet that revolves around the sun, specific. And you came out with a general conclusion is that all the planets which are the Mercury, the Earth, Mars and also other planets revolve around the sun. And for deduction or deductive method that refer to hypothesis based sign, you always start from the specific observation in which, uh, sorry, general observations in which that um, all birds um, have wings and sparrow are birds. So, your specific um, conclusion is that the sparrow have wings. Okay? Next, uh, this is the kiwi birds, okay, that, do, uh, that can't fly even though they are birds. Okay, next, um, we will look further or more detail on the discovery based sign or inductive method. So, discovery uh, based sign, as I mentioned earlier, is about describing the natural structure and also processes through a very careful observation and analysis of data. So, what is observation? Observation is that um, uh, a thing or a work that, um, that, um, that you use um, to gather the information by using your senses, okay? either directly using a tool or indirectly with the help of a tool such as the microscope. And data Okay, is referred to the recorded observation or items of information. And there are two types of data which are qualitative data and also quantitative data. Qualitative data is referred to the recorded description. Okay, it cannot be measured. Meanwhile, quantitative data is a recorded uh, measurement and that you can organize it into tables or a graph okay this is the example of quantitative data with which um, observe about the chimpanzee correct, um, behavior and this is a quantitative examples of quantitative quantitative data that the measurement uh, that measurement uh, it, this one present the measurement the recorded measurement from your observations and from your um, experiment. Next, the second one is that hypothetical best sign by using the deductive method. So, hypothetical best sign um, start always start from asking the question and involve the proposing and testing the hypothetical explanation or hypothesis. So. It always leads to a prediction that can be tested through the ex um, um, experiment. So it starts from the observation first. You made an observation and you came out with the hypothesis in which your hypothesis um, that leads into the prediction can be tested. And then you run an experiment to test your hypothesis. You made the conclusion and goes to the scientific theory that involving the several conclusions including your conclusion so what is hypothesis hypothesis is referred to tentative explanation for observation or phenomena and hypothesis can be divided into four stages which are the first one to uh, identify the hypothesis 
to be tested okay you have to make sure that your hypothesis can be tested okay by um, by the scientific process by or by the experiment and then from this hypothesis you can make a general prediction and then you can use uh, experimental to check the hypothesis hypothesis if there is no experiment to test your hypothesis meaning to say your hypothesis cannot be tested okay next is that if um, yes um, you can generate a prediction you can use experiment to check your um, prediction okay that come out from hypothesis meaning to say um, the hypothesis is accepted if the experiment is success or um, if not the hypothesis if is rejected if your pre uh, your experiment um, contrasts with your prediction and for um, good hypothesis it should be consistent okay with fact it can generate prediction okay and the result can be repeat and also the hypothesis can also be falsifiable meaning to say it also can be proven false as well so example for the first one your observation is that your handphone failed to switch on and then your hypothesis is that maybe your handphone failed to switch on because of the battery is dead Therefore, your prediction is that the handphone should work properly if you charge the battery. And then, next, you have to test your prediction. So, if the handphone, after you, put the, uh, after you charge it, if it works again, meaning to say your hypothesis is uh, accepted. Okay? However, if, even though after you charge your phone, your handphone still not doesn't work, Meaning to say your prediction or your hypothesis is false. Okay, so you might reject your original hypothesis and come uh, come with the alternative way to test again um, your um, your hypothesis. And another one is that another example is that hypothesis also can be two. Okay, two hypotheses. So for example. Um, you make an observation you, wish, you observe that your flashlight doesn't work so the question that yet come out is that why does your flashlight doesn't work so you make two hypotheses the first one is the bat either the battery are dead or the bulb is burned out so this both of the hypotheses uh, can be um, can be proved by experiment and also meaning to say they, they are testable okay so you can look uh, read this one we also later and as i mentioned earlier hypothesis um, can make use of two or more alternative hypotheses and failure to falsify the hypothesis does not prove that hypothesis okay meaning to say that hypothesis can be accepted or um, rejected okay and also the hypothesis must be testable using experiment and can be falsifiable okay for example hypothesis that goes full with the flashlight cannot be tested okay you cannot test um, the cost Okay, that related to the supernatural things. So therefore, that's why supernatural and religious explanation are outside the bounds of science. Okay, this is the terminology, the terminology that you have. You can read by yourself later, and the theory inside. So, what you always say about uh, the science theory, science theory. So, what is a theory? Science theory means science theory is actually referred to any description that cover a large number of phenomena and 
has met many observation and experimental tests. Okay, so uh, theory in sign um, usually more um, broader in scope compared to um, a single uh, compared to a hypothesis, and they are more general and also supported by many evidence in comparison to a hypothesis. So. The most important thing in sign is scientific method. Scientific method involves a series of steps that used to investigate a natural occurrence. So it always starts with the observation. Next, the question that came out um, due to the observation. And then you formulate the hypothesis in which the hypothesis can be tested by experiment and also can be falsifiable. And then after you conducting the experiment, you design first the experiment and you conduct the experiment, you will get the data. You will collect it and analyze the result to make a conclusion. And then you have to communicate the result with others also. So next, we'll um, look more details on each step in the scientific method. The first one is observations. Observation, you make the observation using your, sen your senses and um, your research topic, research your topic of interest. And then always develop equations or problem that can be solved through the experiment. And then you formulate the hypothesis in which Hypothesis always lead to the prediction to answer your problem or your question. And then you design and conduct your experiment. The design of the experiment always, huh? always with start with the materials, okay, list of materials and the methodology that you already developed. And then next, after you have the materials and the methodology, then you can conduct experiment and the experiment a well designed experiment should include control group and also also experimental group this one i will um, explain later and always the result must be measurable and then next uh, from the experiment you co you collect the data from the experiment and you, then you analyze the data okay so Data, as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of data, qualitative or quantitative data, okay? And if um, the data met through your experiment is not enough, you can modify the procedure and also confirm that the result um, by retesting back. And you can also present your data um, in terms of, in, um, in the form of table, graph or photograph. And then you made the conclusion. So what is conclusion? Conclusion is actually referred to a statement that accepts or rejects the hypothesis. And in conclusion should include the recommendation for further study and also any possible improvement to the procedure that you have uh, you have been done. And then the most important thing is that in sign, after you get result, you have to communicate the result with others so that others can verify your result. And you have to be prepared to present the project or your research okay, to an audience and always expect questions from the audience to improve your um, experiment or your research. Next is experimental analysis. In this subtopic, you will learn about the variables um, that are very important in um, science. Okay, so variables is referred to the factor that is likely to change in an experiment. So actually, there are three types of variable: independent variable, dependent variable, and control variable so independent variable is a variable that stand alone meaning to say this variable cannot be affected by any factor okay and 
this variable is the factor that can be changed in a scientific method or in a scientific experiment to test the effect of the dependent variable. So dependent variable is the one that being tested. Okay? And control variable is a factor that keep constant throughout the experiment. It does not change. Okay? And it does not affect it by the independent variable. And what is control group and also experimental group? A control group is the group that being tested, uh, sorry, experimental group is the group that being te tested throughout the experiment. Meanwhile, a control group is a group that cannot, uh, that is not tested uh, and used to compare with the experimental um, group. So, if there, if the experiment, okay, um, consists of experimental group and control group, that is known as a control experiment okay and then um the pre um they are um the as i mentioned earlier um the prediction can be tested um through the actual experiment in which um for example experimental group fed with carrot for the control experiment control divided into two group we have positive control and negative control okay next is um, experimental analysis can be done okay after the data collection however there is some pro there are some problems in analyzing the data such as sampling error okay uh, because you cannot do an experiment with a big numbers of um, samples and then human error also um, causing the problem in analyzing the data and also the equipment uh, equipment error so for example sampling error is that how big is the sample size to present the actual population right if you want to check um a factor that related the most to the mosquito so how many samples of mosquito that you need to testify to check your hypothesis okay so usually um for uh, this uh, error you can apply the statistical analysis okay um in this one you will learn later in the statistic um, uh, course okay and then trials so trials refer to the replicate group that are exposed to the same condition in an experiment meaning to sh meaning to say your experiment can be repeated again okay and the group need to be replicated okay to get the accuracy okay and then reporting you have to present your result and in scientific report always content first is the introduction so that people know what you want to present you have to include the literature review of the previous study or any study that related to your topic and then the, the descriptions of your methods including the list of the materials and then the result with the discussion and then a conclusion that have been made and also the references of all your method introduction literature review and results and then after you have present sometimes you can publish your finding in scientific journal or present it to um, pu um, public lah, the audience and then always be prepared to get comments or suggestions for improving the report and in science there are some limitations in which um, science cannot test the value, cannot test the morality, cannot test the religion and supernatural things, okay? Because in science, the phenomena should be testable. It can be tested and can be falsifiable, okay? And also can be repeatable. So, such as uh, supernatural, how can you 
um, do an experiment on the ghost, okay, and etc. Last but not least is units of measurement and conversions. So, um, in science, always um, the data always be um, related to the unit, right? And they are generally um, seven base units um, in science um, based on the international system of units. And the world most widely used system of measurement both in everyday commands and also in science. Okay, the international system of units. So in science, um, basically, um, there are seven important units that you have to remember. The first one is candela for luminous intensity. The second one is meter for length, kilogram for mass, second for time, ampere for electrical current. Um, Kelvin for temperature or degree Celsius and mole for the amount of substances. So, I know most of you never heard about candela before. Um, so, candela is actually referred to the light intensity from a one source, okay, within a solid angle, okay. So, um, it always being called as one stray stay radian. So one candela is actually the magnitude of electromagnetic field okay in this one refer to the light okay in specific direction which is in specific uh, angle that has a power or equivalent to the uh, the wavelength okay always equivalent to the visible light field of 1 over 638 watt per the radian okay at 540 terahertz next is um, for length length is in meter and for microscopic uh, measurement uh, usually people use millimeter micrometer nanometer okay and then uh, normal is uh, centimeter and millimeter lah. and then weight in gram this is the conversion okay for one milligram is equal to 0 0.001 gram and then the volume in liter temperature concentrations and also the velocity so remember the conversions of small unit to big unit always divided the value of the prefix this one you have to remember okay in which tera is equal to 10 to the power of 12 mega equal to 10 to the power of 6 kilo to 10 to the power of 3 so for big unit you always uh, in to convert to small unit always um uh, call that one? multiply with um the multiple prefix okay so for here is the example for the length so kilometer go uh, convert to meter always from big unit to small unit always multiply with the prefix of kilometer kilometer is 10 to the, uh, 10 to the power of 3 so 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1000 1000 and etc this is for mass, you can read by yourself later, and volume. So I think that's all for today class. Thank you.